we'll start with Angela Merkel, who is a Flacco, former East German. Sorry for the static. She applauds Hillary Clinton. Uh, that's all you need to know. If somebody's applying Hillary Clinton, you got problems right from the start. Russia's off Trump attacks over refugees. Trump says that uh, she's ruining Germany because of leaving her borders open. I agree with him 100%. Um, they need to close their borders and send them back where they came from. And there's just different cultures there, and it just will not work. Chancellor was, I admire, here's what she said about Hillary. I admire her strategic thinking and her strong commitment to the transatlantic partnership. Oh boy. Whenever I was able to work with Hillary Clinton, it was a great pleasure. Uh, when you were working with Hillary. Chancellor was less effusive about Trump, the billionaire real estate developer, who last October had Merkel's open border policy on refugees insane. He called it insane, which is about right. In December, t Trump tweeted that Merkel was ruining the Germany. I don't know him personally, Merkel told Bild. As for personal attacks, Merkel said, I see no need to respond to him on that. Well, it's not a personal attack, he's attacking your uh, wacko policy. So. Let's take a look at what her uh, deputy says. They both are mouthed off. Okay, German minister calls Trump a threat. Merkel lauds Clinton. We've already done the Merkel part, so we won't bother with that. German economy minister Sigmar Gabriel has branded leading U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump a threat to peace and prosperity, while Chancellor Angela Merkel said it had always been a pleasure to work with Democrat Hillary Clinton. Trump's a threat to peace? And he's going to pin the ears back on some of our enemies, I'm certain of that. The comments made by... Gabriel, Germany's vice chancellor and leader of the Social Democrats. In other words, the same uh, as Bernie Sanders. Are the clear sign yet that ruling politicians in Europe are increasingly worried about the outcome of the U.S. President, presidential elections? Whether Donald Trump, Marine Le Pen, or Gear. Geert Wilders, all these right-wing populists are not only a threat to peace and social cohesion, but also to economic development. You don't care about economic development. You're a left-wing nutcase. Du bist ein Doomkopf! Gabriel told Welt am um, Sonntag newspaper in an interview published on Sunday. Gabriel said Trump and French National Front leader Le Pen were promising voters a way back into a fairy tale world in which economic activity only happened within national borders. And that's BS. But that uh, history has shown such isolated economies had no prospect. When haven't we traded? We have to make the effort to explain how we want to shape globalization in a fair way, Gabriel said. Well, there you go. He's a globalist. I can't stand globalists. No, we can't see our country completely off, but we can see our borders and get a system in place that makes sense. A system for managed immigration where 
we get people who are going to contribute to this country that come here instead of just coming over the border and expecting to be taken care of for life. That's the thing right there. And he also praised Vladimir Putin. And he goes on to uh, praise Hillary Clinton, which is all you need to uh, uh, see as far as I'm concerned. Hillary is a big time crook, in my opinion. I'm not taking that back. So let's switch over to Tony Blair and see what this lunatic has to say. Europeans anxious about the Trump presidency. Former British Minister Tony Blair expressed concern about the United States presidential race on Sunday, saying that European observers are anxious about the prospect of Donald Trump in the White House. In a radio interview with John Katsimatis, that's not going to happen, Blair was asked his opinion on the presidential race and responded by laughing. C asked if he was laughing because of the entertainment value of the Trump presidency. The entertainment value is high and there's, there's a certain, I have to say, level of anxiety as to what's happening in America, the most powerful country in the world. It really matters, Blair responded. He added that he remains optimistic about the outcome of the campaign, which means he wants to watch this pinko commie in there like Hillary. Got too long experience now with American politics, and then, then you usually wind up in a situation where things right themselves and correct themselves, so let's wait and see what happens. Screw you, Tony. This is the same uh, people who want to ban, who banned Michael Savage, just for word he, words he says, and they want to ban Trump, and that is going to get uncomfortable. If Trump wins the White House, and they have him banned. That could get ugly. I think the most important thing people want to see, particularly if they're supporters of America and Ally of America is they want to see America as strong and capable of forging the right partnerships in the world. And why do you oppose Trump? Though not mentioning the Republican frontrunner by name, Blair implied that a Trump presidency would alienate some American allies and weaken the nation. Oh, for crying out loud. I can't stand this idiot. I'm sorry, my British friends, but, uh, he should have been thrown out of office a long time ago. He never should have got out in the office. I don't know. This is getting crazier and crazier. I'm artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.